So, here's one of the most disturbing videos I've ever seen in my life. And here it is debunked. This video appears to show us what's called a homonucleus. This is meant to be a half human, half other species hybrid that creates a small human. Or some variant of this. This video seems scarily realistic. Now I've heard about crossbreeding of species before in science and heard that it was possible to make hybrid creatures but I didn't remember much more than that. After looking into it, here's what I found. It's entirely possible to cross-link the DNA of two different species. This in fact is nothing new and it's been done many times before. For example, spiders and goats can be mixed together to create spider milk. This is done by isolating the genes that produce silk from spiders, then adding this to the genes used by goats to produce milk. This literally means that the goats that are created this way with the successful DNA implant will produce goat's milk, but this will also contain some spider silk that can be harvested. But these are only done using very small parts of genes, not completely mixing them together. And this was done under complete lab conditions, not just some guy in his house. Stalin actually tried to mix human and chimpanzee DNA in the past to make a super soldier. But these tests proved to be completely unsuccessful. After further research, I found that it's impossible for two species genes to be directly linked to each other to make a hybrid animal. Here's why. In order for them to pair, there must be an equal number of chromosomes mixed to create the creature. Humans have 46 chromosomes and chickens have 78. So the numbers which are going half and half wouldn't match. So the 23, 39 wouldn't mix. Also, they would be for completely different things. As the sperm and egg duplicate DNA before dividing, mitotic checkpoints won't be able to work. So not only would this not be possible, it would especially not be so under no lab conditions whatsoever, and if was possible, would require intense lab treatment by physically cutting up strands of the DNA to mix match this way. After looking into how the video was actually made, I found that this could actually easily be done. If you watch in the video, the only movements are very subtle, but they always seem to be in one direction, almost as if controlled. If you look in these two videos, it's always to a certain point. Even in the video where the creature appears to look at the person, it does so in a way that looks as if it's being controlled. I then started to think about the potential of using magnets and plasticine, or other type of materials, to create this, and I tried my own demonstration. Now the magnets I used weren't powerful enough, but you can kind of get the picture. Not only that, I also found plenty of other videos where people made actual sea creatures appear to come out of eggs like small fish in an identical way that is shown in the video. As you can see from my demonstration, it's perfectly easy for somebody to recreate this. And with the last one, it would simply take someone recreating that object, putting a powerful magnet in the top end and 
concealing another magnet to make it face towards a camera person. It could very easily be the case that the squirting of the acid was photoshopped in later. Given the right equipment, I could easily recreate this myself. So there you go guys. This is fake. Thank you for watching, I enjoyed doing this video. And I know that I've definitely solved this. And even though, like I said, my recreation wasn't perfect, you get the idea of how easily this could be faked. And the fact that it's not physically possible for somebody to do this. Thanks guys, see ya.